welcome to Virtual Storytime. Yeah, so this week we are talking about things that are cozy, because it's winter, sort of, in some <laughs> places. And this is the time of year where it's really nice to snuggle up and keep warm. Absolutely. So grab your favorite blankie or your favorite stuffed animal and cozy up for some nice cozy stories and a really good puppet show. And we'll catch you later. Bye. So our first book is called Snuggle Wuggle. You hug your mama and your mama hugs you. Lots of animals hug their mothers just like you. Let's find out. How does a bunny hug? Snuggle, wuggle, snuggle, wuggle. How does a chick hug? Fluffy, duffy, fluffy, duffy. What does the chicken say? Did they say bark, bark, bark? How does a monkey hug? Swing a ling, swing a ling. And what does a monkey say? They say ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. And how does a kangaroo hug? Pouchity boing, boing, boing. They hop everywhere they go. How does an otter hug? Tumble, bumble, tumble, bumble. How does a gorilla hug? Huggle, nuggle, huggle, nuggle. How does a cub hug? Cozy dozy, cozy dozy. What does a tiger say? Do they say rawr? How does a fawn hug? Lazy daisy, lazy daisy. How does a puppy hug? Fuzzle, nuzzle, fuzzle, nuzzle. And what does a puppy say? Do they say woof, woof? How does a koala hug? Cuddle, duddle, cuddle, duddle. How does a panda hug? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. How does a bat hug? Topsy-turvy, topsy-turvy. The end. And I'm going to read us a cozy story called Bunny Bungalow. The bunnies found a bungalow, a cozy bunny home. They painted it as green as grass. They made it all their own. Father carved a weather vane, a carrot, don't you know, to twirl around and whirl around in wind and rain and snow. Mother knitted bunny quilts for all her baby's beds and stitched a few white pillows for her little baby's heads. The parlor held a rocking chair, so nice for bunny naps. That does look really nice and cozy, doesn't it? A big, soft couch for poetry read in bunny laps. The children bathed with daisy soap in silver bunny tubs, then wrapped all up in fluffy towels for mother bunny rubs. They played with bunny baby dolls, all dressed in lacy clothes. Then picked some cherries off a tree and squished them with their toes. The bunnies drank their tea at night to give them sleepy heads. I do like to drink tea at night. Then father read them stories before sending them to bed. The bunnies in their bungalow slept tight and still and sound. Then woke at dawn and listened to their carrot going around. The bunnies found a bungalow, a perfect bunny home. They live there still, they always will. They made it all their own. The end. Sleep, little one, sleep. Your dreams are long and deep. Sleep in your burrow, cave, or den. Sleep till the winter's done, and then rise up and start all over again. Sleep, little one, sleep. 
Sleep, black bear, sleep. The hills are bare and steep. You hibernate through winter's snow. Your heart beats steady, strong, and slow. You wait till spring to rise and go. Sleep, black bear, sleep. Dream, little frog, dream. At the bottom of your stream, a skim of ice above you high is like a graying winter sky. Don't wake till spring, don't even try. Dream, little frog, dream. Hang, little bat, hang, with your entire gang. Tuck your legs and tail in tight for winter's dark, extended night, till this spring brings warmth and light. Hang, little bat, hang. Nap, little snakes, nap. Heads and tails overlap. One big tangle keeps you warm through nature's cold and winter storm. Your breathing takes a slower form. Nap, little snakes, nap. Snooze, box turtle, snooze, within the spot you choose. Safe from wind and frozen rain that beats above a soft refrain, till sunlight warms the thawed terrain. Snooze, box turtle, snooze. Rest, gopher, rest. For you, the burrow's best. So find a chamber that will fit and settle down inside of it. And food? Just snack a little bit. Rest, gopher, rest. Snore, little skunk, snore. Turn over, snore some more. The winter's winds may howl and wail. Your den is closed with snow and hail. But you know spring will never fail. Snore, little skunk, snore. Nod, badger, nod, within your house of sod. Inside your set you settle down, surrounded by familiar ground, a welcome house and earthy brown. Nod, badger, nod. Doze, beaver, doze, just let your eyelids close. When water freezes up your dam, too icy for a good tail slam, into your lodge you quickly scram. Doze, beaver, doze. Hush, little mouse, hush. This is the final rush. Do not delay, no time to stall. Curl up into a little ball as winter creeps and snowstorms fall. Hush, little mouse, hush. Lol, little toad, lol. Take heed of winter's call. Dig down and deep within the ooze as soon as you hear winter's news and there prepare a long, deep snooze. Lol, little toad, lol. Yawn, chipmunk, yawn, as you cross the lawn. Duck under rocks and under weeds to where your winding tunnel leads, and there amongst your hidden seeds, yawn, chipmunk, yawn. And even you, it's time for sleep, so snuggle down and burrow deep. The sheet and quilt will keep you warm through winter or through summer's storm till you awaken in the morn. Sleep, my little child, sleep. The End Welcome back. I hope you really enjoyed all those cozy stories and that really fun cozy puppet show. Absolutely. And um, we do have a cozy little craft for you this week too. So if you'd like to come in, you can uh, pick that up in person or via curbside and uh, we'll be happy to get that to you. And Miss Cammy will be posting the instruction video for that tomorrow so you can see exactly how to do that craft. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.